I don't know when it happened. I don't know who caused it. All I know is that at some point in time, the definition of manhood shifted way to the left and down. It is no longer what it was when my father was young or alive. It is no longer what it was when my husband said, Lynn, will you marry me? Because what, how they define manhood is, have I gone out into the world and done my best to bring money into my house? Have I got stability and love? Have I built a home? Do I have a place where a woman can come and say, I feel safe, where I have children that I can raise who will have food in their bellies, clothes on their backs. If they need something, I'm the brother to bring it to you. That's what they defined as manhood. Now it seems that that is no longer the case. It has nothing to do with your ability to provide or what you become in your profession or what you can bring home or who you can bring up and raise up and care for and defend and love. It has all to do with how nasty you can be with how many different women, how many corners you can hang on, how many babies you can bring into the world. You don't have to be able to support them. You don't have to love them. You don't have to worry about where they go to school or how they're going to live. You don't have to deal with whatever they have to deal with in order to grow up and be somebody. You just were able to make them, and that's it. And that's how you define manhood. I don't know when that happened. I know you didn't do it personally, Mr. Ware. I understand that there is a culture out there somewhere that has taken the definition of manhood, chopped it all up, diced it in soft pieces, and thrown it in the sewer somewhere. But that's where it is, and that's where you are.